Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Lunchtime Learning here on the Embrilliance Facebook channel. Today is all about labels. Whether you want to add a label into something that you created, added to the back of a quilt or inside of a garment or maybe attached to a stuffed animal or whatever it is that we want to put some sort of personalization on. This is all done using the lettering tool. This particular example that I'm looking at here it would be a wonderful quilt label for a fishing style quilt made for someone's birthday. The main thing is in this project or this type of embroidery project is we are using the lettering tool. So that's the big letter A and we are using either native built-in fonts or you can use BX fonts. Keep in mind the size of the project that you're working on. If your label is only going to be three inches wide by an inch and a half tall, you have to keep the information concise and use very small fonts. Otherwise, it's, you're not going to be able to see, read what you're putting onto that label. So keep the size in mind. Have the information handy. What is it that you want to put on your quilt? Is it a happy birthday? Congratulations? A wedding? Anniversary? Something? What? What is the information? Who's making it? What the date is? Whatever information that you want to include, Make a list because once you have that list, you can always pare it down late, later. But it's you get a blank screen, you're like, oh, what do I type? So make your list ahead of time so that you know exactly what it is you want to put on your label. This particular one was is done with a design from Embroidery Library. You can use um, any designs that you have. Search Google search on quilt labels or you can simply embroider on a piece of fabric and attach it to the back as if uh, just a regular applique. There are also applique shapes in the Embrilliance libraries. A whole bunch, you can create your own if you have stitch artists. Opportunities and possibilities are endless. So let's pop on into the software and see how easy it is to create labels using Embrilliance Essentials. The first thing you need to know when creating some sort of quilt label is the information that you want to have embroidered. So let us start a brand new design page and, and just create a very simple design as if you were going to stitch it just on plain fabric. Click on the big letter A and you'll want to type in your information that you want to put in here. So I'm gonna put John Anthony Hit enter and you need to know your approximate size that you want to use. Choose whatever fonts that you want to use to create your label. Smaller fonts of course are going to work better and they can be sized in the Brilliance Essentials program but you want to not size a four inch font down to a half an inch. You need to size logically. If you use the native fonts, those that have no needle next to them. Those have more sizing capabilities. If you want to use BX fonts that are stitch based, those that have the needles next to them, those come in variety of sizes and you'll want to choose one closest to the size that you want to work with so that you don't have to resize as much. And you're going to want to create a lettering object for each one or each um, item that you want to have on your label. So happy birthday, July 20, uh, I have the date, I have the name, happy birthday. You probably wanna put your name on here. So I'm going to put love Lisa. Put this right here and maybe I'll put this down below. Now I'm thinking if this is just gonna be a stitch on regular fabric and maybe made into a patch to put onto a back of a quilt, in, you may want to add a smaller design. In our merge libraries designs here, there are some smaller motifs that are available. And depending on what the style of your, your project is, one of them may work because these are scalable. Otherwise, you may want to just choose 
something that a small design that matches the quilt style or something generic like this swirl you can easily add in designs that's done either using the merge library design if you find something there or you can use merge stitch file the other type of embroidery designs that you can create or for labels this is the general idea typing text you can also work with existing labels for example here is one that was created using an existing design purchased from Embroidery Library. This would be done, new design page. I'm going to merge in that design that I have purchased. Click import. And here it is on my design page. And I can start clicking on my lettering tool to add the name, the date, and whatever information it is that I want to put onto this particular label. Well, another way that you can work um, on this is if you want to create all of your text first, for example, I have typed in happy third birthday, I'll put the name of the child that's here, that's for who this project is for. Again, I may wanna put in this, uh, this font here is the flare serif from Essentials. I'm gonna click on the letter A here and I'm gonna put in the date and I already forgot what the date is for this, but choose one appropriate for your project. Go to block font, that's a flare serif. And I can create all the information that I have here. Now, I used a built-in label style design, but you may find that you have some designs that are like frame designs, such as this is a free one from Embroidery Library that has a nice pretty frame that might match your project. I'm gonna click on import, and as you notice, it fits in here, but it has text in the center. So I will want to make sure that my, my original, I'll have to move my original text around that I wanna put in there, but I need to remove this text that's here. So I'm going to simply scroll through the colors in my design that I'm looking at here in my object pane. And the last color that stitches is the text. So I'm gonna select it, hit the delete key, and now I have just a blank frame that I can use to put my information in. And once I have all the information typed that I want in, it's easy enough to resize it and move it around so that it fits in my frame exactly as it as it should because you're going to want to make sure that it's customized that it matches your justification centering etc and how you you want this project to look once i have it all set together one there's two steps i'd like to take i'm going to select all of this and group it together so that now, whenever I click on something, I can just grab the whole design. I don't have to grab each, all the individual pieces. When you select everything and group it, no matter where you click on the design, it selects the whole thing. The other thing that you may want to pay attention to is when you are working on a design that has multiple colors in it, the colors of your text can be pulled in from the design. What does that mean? I want to make sure that the letters that I just added, July 11th here, the color is a color that already exists in my design. So I select the letters, click on color, click on the color chip, and in my thread colors here, I want to make sure that I choose palettes. The palette is for the current page, and these are the colors that are currently in that design. So if I want the date to be done in this salmon pink to match, I can click OK, or select it, click OK, and it is now in the exact same color that is currently in the design. So those are some few tips on creating labels for your projects, such as quilts and wall hangings. 
And there you have it. That's one of the fun things about using the Embrilliance programs. The lettering tool is so versatile and allows you to easily create personalized labels such as this for your projects. Key things to keep in mind is make a list of the information you want on your label, use smaller sized fonts in either the BX or the native fonts that can be sized down so that they'll fit on your label, and add merge and designs, add frames, however it is that you want to create your own personalized project. Hopefully you found this information interesting and useful and enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for taking some time out of your schedule to spend with us today to learn a little bit more about your Brilliance software.